the bucket was gone. A great hand came down and took it from her. She looked up and saw a big man in an old yellow coat. Sometimes we know, with our words, when something good is happening. The little girl knew that now, and she was not afraid of the big man, not a bit. The man spoke to her, "Don't be afraid of me. Don't hide." Show me where you live. How old are you? I'm eight years old, Monsieur. Where is your mother? I don't know. I haven't got a mother. Tell me, my child. What is your name? Cosette. The big man stopped and looked into the Cosette's face. Mademoiselle, can I help you with your bucket? Yes, Monsieur. Why are you carrying a heavy bucket of water at this time of night? Who sent you? Madame Thénard, dear. I would like to talk to this Madame Thénard, dear. Shall we go and see her? Yes, Monsieur. Cosette was not afraid of the tree noises now. This big man, with his gentle voice, was a new and wonderful thing in her life. They walked to the Thénardier's house. Please, Monsieur, can I carry the bucket now? But why? I can ask for help. Madame says she hits me when I do that. She hits me all the time. Cosette said. He gave her the bucket. The Thénardiers were very surprised to see Cosette's new friend. This big man in the old yellow coat. Inside the house, the big man looked at Cosette. He saw her thin clothes, her dirty hair, her big frightened eyes. She was small for her eight years. Her hands were red from kitchen work, and she had no shoes. I found her wandering in the wood. Why does this child have no shoes on her feet on this cold winter night? He said to Madame Thénardier. Madame Thénardier looked at Cosette angrily. Go into the kitchen, Cosette. There is work to do. Go.、Hey, who are you? Monsieur Thénardier said. You don't need to know my name. This little child. I found her trembling in the shadows. And I am here to help Cosette. I will settle any debt. I will pay what I must pay to take Cosette away. And there is a promise I have made," said the big man. "You are very welcome here. You tried to take our treasure away, our little girl," Monsieur Thénardier said. 